Guys, so we're where we are right now is we're just to the left of the village, so we're gonna be we're gonna we have to go to the other side of town for something that I have to do, but we're gonna go the long way so we can follow these guys out towards Fonskin. Linda Uribe! How you doing? Fonskin! So good! Linda is our gal, you guys. She's an awesome lady. Um I can definitely tell she's an awesome lady. She was married to a police officer for many, many years. And uh, so yeah, thank you. And um, unfortunately, you know, he is no longer with us. So if we could think some nice things for them, they're such nice people, you guys. They're such nice people. I love them to death. Okay, man, here we go. Here we go, man. It's 5.42. So I have a video that's set to upload at six o'clock from a little bit earlier, and then this one's gonna upload a lot later because this one's gonna be a lot longer. Because we're gonna be doing the whole town. During, we're doing the whole town, my friend. There's my friend. But yeah, that is, uh, I just need to get my screwdriver for that rattling. Or maybe I'll take off my beanie and shove my beanie in that hole. Oh, this poor person. I have a friend right now who's out, out and about driving around, making money, helping people like this. And unfortunately, we have nothing for them. But they're right near town. They'll, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Someone will get to them within 16 hours. I'm just kidding. They'll be fine. Look at this guy. This guy's not fine, though. This guy's going crazy all over the road, man. Oh, my gosh. I just really want to get by everybody. All right, guys, I'm so excited with the hotel room. It's humongous. It is ridiculous. I'm gonna do the video of it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, man. We don't want people crashing. Going slow is fine, but when you're holding everyone up, at least pull over to let them by. That's all. We don't want the train horn to get involved here, do we? I don't think so. I don't think so. Which is totally fine. But like, pull over to the side and let the people behind you by. That's, but I understand though too, when you don't know how to drive in this type of weather and then you see when you're supposed to, well, in the sides where you're supposed to pull over, it's full of snow, that, that has to be a little bit daunting. That was cool, he waved us by, so that was cool. Yeah, sometimes if you pull over when you, you can't really see the side of the road, you could be entering into some danger, you guys, and I certainly don't want that for you. Danger meaning like little dips or, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, ditches. Steady and light. Before 
unfortunately we can't turn on our brights. This is Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. I really don't anticipate anyone's leaving town right now. But that's what this little bit of traffic's insinuating. Let's leave town when it's difficult to leave town. Huh. Guy went a little sideways there for a second. I hope they're okay. Yeah, they're fine. They're just putting on chains. Okay. Alrighty. We're entering the Boulder Bay area, you guys. That's the Boulder Bay liquor store. Kayaks and stuff like that. And here's Boulder Bay, like the little area you go parking and a bunch of little park park areas and benches and stuff like that to go cruise around and hang out over here at the bay. The Bay of Boulder. Buda Bay. Yeah, I like Boulder Bay. I like it a lot. The train horn really wants to yell. It really wants to yell right now. Should I give it a blast? <laughs> oh, see these are these houses right here. You can't see them right now, but I, I want to just live in one of those places right there. You can't see them behind the trees. They're really gorgeous, right on Boulder Bay. Beautiful views of the ski resorts and the bay right there. It's just really nice. And one of my old good friends, Jordan Groves, his parents had a beautiful big house on the corner of Cove down here. And we would come up here and visit. My best times were back when the Lakers had their first three-peat. And, and this was for like the first one of the three their first three-peat. Yeah. We spent a lot of time up here for that season. Watching them smash on the Pacers and everything. It was great. up to 29 degrees the next part of this storm that comes through in the next couple days is supposed to be warmer it's dipping into some uh, some 
with tropical moisture and it's going to be bringing that up here. drag heading towards the exit of town on highway 18 this is big bear boulevard aka highway 18 and we're still getting some good amount of snow once we get past these guys and can go into fawn skin then we can turn on the brights a little bit or I guess it's not really a little bit, but let's turn on the brights. <laughs> They're gonna be very bright. I love shining the brights though when it's snowing because then you can really get a much better perspective of how much it's snowing. Got a bunch of people coming into town. Look at that. Looky that, looky that. You guys getting ready for the McGregor Poirier 2 fight this weekend? I am, and I'm so looking forward to Michael Chandler making his UFC debut, and I think he's gonna walk all over Dan Hooker. I really do, but we shall see. We shall see. I'm a huge MMA fan, huge. Ever since I was 13 years old, when the first UFC actually was that blockbuster video it, it came out in like 19, like the beginning of 94 on video, but the first UFC was in 93 at McNichols Arena in Denver, which is where I was actually living. I was going to boarding school out there. Can you believe it? Highway 38 now, you guys. Isn't that interesting, my friend? Look, we're on Highway 38. This is a scenic route, my friend. And we gotta take the scenic route just to the best of our ability and get there as safe as we can. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I need some good friends. <laughs> Oops, we're coming taking this turn a little faster than we probably should. Wow, look, at, look at the lake. Look at those lights over there. That's Snow Summit. How cool is that, you guys? Let's roll down the windows. We can take a look at the lights in the sky. 
the lights in the sky. That's really cool. I'm digging that. I'm digging that one. So when you come into town at the dam, this might be your best bet because I did see some traffic coming in. It wasn't bad at all, you guys, just a few cars actually. But if you want to really avoid everything, cruise this way. When you hit the dam, instead of staying straight, heading into Big Bear Lake, make a left and head into Fawn Skin. And just go through Fawn Skin and you'll end up at a street, a stop sign eventually called Stanfield Cutoff. And you'll make a right there. That's your first opportunity to get on the other side of the lake and start heading towards town. all the light man i love it i love it i love it i wish this was like one of those big huge storms like three four five feet of snow we're due for one of them i'm telling you guys we really are we're due for one of those storms one of them huge ones man skin you want to go the speed limit every time you're going through this town tickets are a big deal here I would know <laughs> so now we're cruise controlling the speed limit with a bright zone yeah 
here because we keep it gangster like that with the brights on here yeah? because we're gangster like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's someone. Someone driving their car mighty quickly around this corner here. They need to slow it down, big man. Seriously, who do these people think they are? They cannot be me. Nor would they want to be. So we're in fawn skin, don't blink. Don't blink, because we're gonna be gone. Now we're gone, just about. <laughs> Credit Karma just sent me something. I don't want to deal with them right now. So we're leaving the foam skin area now. straight ahead are so amazing. <coughs> Isn't that awesome, you guys? I just love that. This is the only place I've crashed right here in my Mercedes when I had my 500 Mercedes. I didn't hit this turn, um, I didn't slow up enough, and I slid all the way across and went into that little ditch on the other side there. <coughs> it felt like it was so much worse than it was. There was hardly even a dent outside on the, on the bumper, but like it felt so bad, like I totaled it. <laughs> it really did. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, boy, we, look, just, we just had a little fun right there. Had a little fun right there. So amazing, so beautiful. But you gotta give it to these guys, man. They're doing a great job keeping the roast clean. They do a great job. Most of the time, it's really a good job. <clears throat> Believe it or not, even better than when I lived in Denver, they do a much better job here with the snow plows. But probably because most of the people who come up here are not used to driving in this weather, so they have to do it. Be extra cautious. But yeah, anyway, guys, we're still getting some snow. It's January 20, or January 19th, 2021. We're leaving Fawnskin, California, heading into the Big Bear Lake area and North Shore, so Big Bear City. Turn right on Greenway up here and then turn left on Big Bear Boulevard 
and then you'll be on that side of Highway 38. One Big Bear Boulevard is also Highway 18 in points. It's really weird how it works like that, but it does. than uh, than you anticipate. Please, I'm, I'm driving the way I am because there's nobody on this road and I'm driving in the middle of the road, okay? I don't condone driving the speed I'm driving. I'm not, it's not like I'm driving faster than the speed limit, but I'm probably driving a little faster than uh, the inexperienced person would be for, you know, driving at the right speed for the conditions. And you know what, look at that, that's insane. Just gorgeous. the right thing to do, huh? But he's not going left, is he? Nope, I should have figured that he didn't have a signal on. But it's Big Bear, you never know. Signals are a nuisance up here, apparently, to a lot of people. I'm not the one of them included, though. Okay, give me a moment. I'm gonna have to shut this off for a second. Or maybe not. this neighborhood. 
neighborhood off Bear Loop. These are all the houses on the prairie. The big houses on the little prairie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not funny, but I tried. I tried, I really did. Oops, oops, I see it. Nope, I thought I saw a car. I thought I saw a car. Oh, I did, I did, I saw a car. Here's a car. Turn off my brights after you turn off your brights. Oh, there we go. There's a car. Amazing how so scared people are acting driving in this. Be vigilant, definitely. But if you're too too nervous, have someone else drive for you because even being too nervous, thinking you're doing the right things, you, you might overreact to some things. That's why I always suggest when it snows like this, when it's just starting to pile up a little bit, go into one of the big empty parking lots at the ski resorts and and, and learn how to how to do that stuff. That would be awesome. Do that stuff meaning like driving, hitting your brakes, turning the wheel, regaining control, losing control intentionally and regaining again. These are very, very, very important things and it doesn't take long to learn it, I promise, especially in your own car. It'll be very beneficial for y'all. That's what I do. I, st I still do it to this day. I'll go drive around in, in some of the empty parking lots like every time I get my new tires or, or like something, if there's any, any change, I'm making sure that I am, uh, you know, updating my knowledge, you could say, for the feel. It's very important to get a feel of it. this guy unfortunately but he'll he's probably gonna be cool and let us pass yep yep that looks, yep that's what he's doing very cool we're gonna give him the old double blinkers or at least i thought that's what he was doing nope he's turning left here Baldwin because we're taking the long way to go see my buddy to go see my body man I don't get to see my bodies man it's very difficult to see my body my buddy my body wherever he goes I'm gonna go my buddy my body my body and me <laughs> Right, so I don't blind this guy. Sorry, my friend. All right, folks. So yeah, we are heading out to Baldwin. Oops, that was kind of a, a little 
crazy maneuver we just made there. So as you can see, we're taking the middle of the road. We're not, we're not taking any risks. Well, I, meaning like staying next to the, just right at the side of the road because it's a little bit on the dangerous side. Look at that tree just sticks out right in the middle of nowhere. Look at that right there. And there's a house out there with that blue lights on out there. Look at that, that's sick. Looks like my place. Looks like my place, dog. Anyway, yeah, we're still getting the consistent snow, you guys. I'm sure you can see. It's nothing too special, nothing to write home about, but it's definitely snowing. And we're definitely happy about that. See how we're taking up the whole road? You can see cars coming down here from a long way away. Even on these turns, I don't suggest you go in the middle on the turns. These little little S type turns, but you can see all the way around the corner. There's nothing, nothing anywhere. There we go. Here's somebody. Here's somebody. Jeez, thank God I'm not going that way. Look at how slow he's going. Jeez Louise. Wasn't even going 10 miles an hour, I guarantee you. He was just, just put the car in drive and let go of the brake. That's how fast he's going or how slow he's going. That's okay though. You guys need to feel comfortable when you're out here doing that. Just if someone pulls up behind you, just pull over to the side to let them by. No big deal. Don't look at it like, oh, they're trying to get by. I'm not going to let them by because I was here first. Like, please, that's the wrong attitude to have up here. That's the wrong attitude. That's like the attitude that I grew up with in Newport Beach. Up here, like it's it's all about being courteous to the other, other other people. I guarantee you, they aren't trying to pass you to get to where you're going faster. I promise you. That's not how it is up here. They're trying to pass you because they have things to do, and it's, it gets incredibly busy. We have 5,000 or less full-time residents up here, and when it snows, we get a couple hundred thousand people up here. It's crazy. So it makes it very, very, very difficult for those that have to get to work and stuff like, like that. So as, as I'm saying, never take it personally, you guys, if someone's trying to pass you. Like, please do not. And what we need to do here is plug this in. Oh, I need to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. I hope that's charging. At least it shows it's charging, but it might not be. It'll be flipping around here. Usually the phone makes a sound like boing. Look at all these people. Just kidding, there's no people. I'm just a crazy guy, yeah? I'm wild and crazy, guys. I'll get a little loose over here. Oh, yeah. A little fun. Hit the gaze. So, Baldwin's getting some good snow over here. What do you guys think? Enter Baldwin Lake, you guys. That's up here on the right. This person's probably going there as well, which is cool. Unless they're crazy and going down right now. I think it's kind of nuts, man, to go down right now. Even though it's barely below freezing, you guys will be good. But there's a couple little sharp turns on the back side of Highway 18 back here that's a little bit on the rough side for me. Um, and I consider it rough for anybody. Please don't be turning. Please don't be turning. 
turning for yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're entering Baldwin Lake now. Yes. <laughs> the car to turn off our brights really quickly, yes my friend. This is awesome guys, this is awesome. so it's not like I'm using someone else's time and their money so I don't want you guys to think that I am a independent contractor so all my work gets paid on when I do my work that was just spectacular spectacular so I love look at this place oh look at that that is awesome Look at that. Man, that is so cool, guys. Gosh, it reeks of cannabis over here for some reason, like bad. the window open so that's all the splashing you can hear is the window open
sledding spot over here. Can't really see it because it's dark. But that's when we get good amounts of snow over here. That's when it's a good sledding spot. Kind of cool the tunnel that that light is creating from the cars up ahead. It's really cool. We are driving through kind of a tunnel of trees anyway. Here's the place, the sledding place. It's not a technical sledding place, but it's where I like to go. When I have some friends up here, we get more snow over here. More, meaning more snow than they usually get over here. And this is a good little quiet place to come. But then again, you'll find a couple people sometimes. Exiting Baldwin Lake, entering back into Bear City once we cross the stop sign right here. Oh my gosh, there's an accident. Oh no. Oh no. I hope everyone's okay. Holy moly. I hope nothing happened to the dog. There's something big up there. Something big happened up there. I don't know what's going on. Hope everyone's okay.
The only place we didn't touch on this drive was Sugarloaf. That's just to the left here. I wanted you guys to see the whole valley though. Most of you are not going to, to Sugarloaf anyway. Most of you. I gotta shut this off for a moment, okay guys? Right up here when we get up to shore. Okay, so we made a right turn on shore instead of going straight because I had to make a little deviation from, from the route. However, um, yeah, this is where we we stop the video right here. So when we turn right, it'll be as if it's right where it was supposed to be. As I said, we took a little deviation. Not not a big deal though. city right now we're about to enter like the downtown part of Big Bear City and one of the staples of our town is community market it's been here for a very long time I, th I want to say since like the 20s and 30s which is pretty remarkable Septum again. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I should have taken Chippendale down. But well, we're gonna take this next road down. Guild art. Guild art. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get back to this hotel, you guys. It's, like I'm even more excited about this place than the five stars I've I've been staying at recently for my other channel. My other channel is called Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. I'd be stoked if you guys check it out and support it. I'd be very stoked. This channel, I don't ask for subscribers and stuff. And it's not like the other channel isn't a passion either, but this is really a passion as well. And I just feel weird asking for subscribers or asking you to hit the like button or the notification bell or stuff like that. I just feel really weird doing stuff like that. People tell me I should all the time though. Yeah, boy. So that's the sledding park right next to Motel 6 or Motel 7, like whatever the heck it's called. That's where you go pay for sledding. That's There's two places in town where you can do that. Either there or over by the village, which is where we're going right now.
between Division and Stanfield cut off again. And this video is going to end over by the village, and then I have to spend an hour to upload it. At least an hour. It's going to take a long time, my friend. Guys doing pretty well for Ford Focus up here, huh? Not too bad. See, you guys can do this. You guys can do this. This guy can do it, no problem. He's just driving at a good pace for him and his vehicle, or she and her vehicle. should be able to see Snow Summit in just a moment. You see those lights on the hill? That's Snow Summit. That is so cool looking, man. I love this town when it looks like this. There's a bunch of groceries, or a grocery store over there and some shops. And here's another grocery store, Vons. And some pet stores and stuff like that, DIY. Stuff like that. man flowers uh, ski rentals and stuff like that snowboard rentals I used to go to that place when I was younger snows during the week when it snows during the week usually like that first day it will be very dead 
because a lot of people won't come up while it's really snowing, but then they'll come up the next day. So this is, look at that, there's no one to talk about. Wow, unbelievable. Look at this guy, there's nobody on Big Bear Boulevard hardly. This is awesome, my friend. Anyway, this is Big Bear Boulevard. Hope you guys are having a great time up here or watching the videos. This is it. This is it. This is it. Going to turn left on the snow. This is it. <laughs> Let's get a little loose. Oh wait, no, there's a car. It's a cop right there, actually. I think. He's got the headlight. No, it's a, it's a, it's a ram. It's a ram. All right, guys. I love you guys. That's it for this video. Peace out. Love you guys. January 19, 2021. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy.